outlook now, but the UNLV running Rebels are ranked once again top 25, both AP and coaches poll this week after a perfect 3-0 start. In fact, they're one of only 10 teams in the country that has covered every point spread this year as well. This line now about a field goal higher than it would have been just a week ago, so the question becomes, is there still value with UNLV, or is it time to fade them and take the adjusted line value with the underdog Syracuse? I've got the answer. There is a money-making opportunity in this national TV game Friday night. I'm going to give it to you free here in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down your late-night game on Friday, Fox Sports 1 National TV, Syracuse traveling for the first time this season all the way out to Nevada. First time ever these programs have met in college football. And it's also the first time Syracuse has not only traveled this season after four straight home games, but the first road game overall for new head coach Fran Brown. So on the surface, doesn't look like a good spot for Syracuse. And meanwhile, UNLV has just been crushing it. Perfect 3-0 straight up in ATS this season under second-year head coach Barry Odom. And to put it in perspective, the three previous seasons before Odom took over, they won seven games, went 7-23. and They are now 12-5 and straight up the last year plus with him at the helm. Uh, he's been a consistent winner. He turned the Memphis, terrible Memphis defense around a decade ago and then did a pretty good job, top 25 job at Missouri as well. Barry Odom looks like he is the answer for UNLV, and there's a lot of excitement with this football team. But as I mentioned at the top, the line is inflated now. The look-ahead line last week was as low as three to four points. Now it's six and a half. I agree with that sharp money move that pushed this line higher. I do like UNLV minus 6.5 in this game. And as long as it stays below that key number of 7, I think we're still getting some line value as well. UNLV started the season off with back-to-back straight-up underdog wins against Houston and Kansas. You know, and a lot of people felt like that bye week in Week 1, right after Week 1, the first week of September in Week 2, was not a good timing. But they went into Kansas, or or beat Kansas, meanwhile, 23-20. And, of course, that Houston game was a true road game, 27-7 as a dog as well to open things off. And then no letdown after another bye week, no letdown last week against Fresno, 59-14. So it's been very strange. I mean, some teams, after Thursday night, some teams have six games under their belt, and UNLV has only played three. But I think that's to their advantage with a a fairly new staff still in the second year here. That momentum will continue in the 59-14 win against Fresno last week was definitely a good sign is less than a field goal favor. And they've also been doing incredibly well on the ground this year. One of the best rushing attacks right now in football, averaging over 200 yards per game. And their rush defense has been fantastic. In fact, they've allowed 30 yards or less in two of the three games this season. So that is one of the big matchup edges for UNLV in this game is on the line of scrimmage with the rushing edge. And that has been Syracuse's big weakness this season. They've given up over four and a half yards per rush against teams that average just 3.9. UNLV is averaging nearly five yards per carry. So it's a big step up in class for Syracuse, and they've already struggled this time, this year at times, against weaker rushing attacks. Keep in mind also, Syracuse has one loss this season, not a good loss. They're a nine point home favorite on the national TV game uh, two Fridays ago against Stanford. Stanford having travel cross country, playing the unusual settings. And Syracuse still lost that game outright as an 8-9 to nine point favorite. So not a believer in this Syracuse team yet. And I do think the scheduling spot is not good for the first time on the road after a full month at home. And UNLV well-rested, well-prepared, well-coached with a powerful Russian attack. Let's not overthink it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? They're perfect straight up, perfect against the spread. I think that most likely continues after Friday night. Take a look at UNLV, minus that 6.5 and, and shop around. Some spots are getting close to hitting that key number of minus 7. Hey, if you're liking what you're hearing here on Wager Talk TV, do us a couple quick favors. First of all, thumbs up, like these free play videos. That keeps them coming. Also, comment below. I read all the comments and I reply back. What are your thoughts on UNLV? Are they legit? Yes, they cracked the top 25. A lot of times that's a play against angle. Last week, Boise State was in that situation. They won and they've climbed higher. Um, so I think it's not necessarily a pure play against. And I do think UNLV will use that momentum, that momentum this week at home on national TV. But what are your thoughts on this game? Side, total, what other games are you looking at? Not only for Friday, but Saturday college football as well. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already done so. Join almost 170,000 subscribers here to Wager Talk TV. But when you click subscribe, click that bell. That's the secret. Click that bell for an instant alert when these free play videos are posted throughout the week for college and pro football, Major League Baseball, basketball around the corner. And then, of course, you'll also get an instant alert the minute my college top 25 videos up for all the Saturday games and my NFL fade the public videos up each weekend for the Sunday and Monday NFL games. Click that bell for an instant alert here on Wager Talk TV. If you want my personal best bets, and you really should, we've just been fantastic in all sports this season. Enter the baseball playoffs on a 31-13 winning run to finish the NMLB regular season. 
Uh, NFL college football, fantastic start, 20 and 11 in the regular season so far. That is number one units one at Wager Talk this season. And what a surprise, right? The last two years combined, coming into this year, I was number one ATS profit in both college and pro football combined. And oh, yeah, the NBA starts in a few weeks. I'm number one all time in the history of Wager Talk in NBA profit, including number one the last three years combined. So the NBA is around the corner. Baseball is still here. College and pro football in full swing. Not a bad time to be an All Sports All Access member. And if you want to try us out, this is the week to do it because you get a seven day sampler for just $77. Lucky sevens, seven days for $77. You do the math. That's $11 a day. I average anywhere from one to three plays a day, more on the weekends, obviously. Saturday and Sunday football, maybe three to four plays a day. So it comes out to maybe, say, two plays per day on average throughout the week. That works out to about $5 a play with the weekly sampler. Now, that's not a bad way to start off, but you really should take more than just a seven-day approach. If you're serious about winning the long-term, all access is the way to go. I've made this offer for three weeks. I keep bringing the promo code back because it's been extremely popular. I know many of you are on board for the next year. Thank you. We've been having a fantastic run all season. But I know many of you keep sitting back week after week and saying, oh, I missed out. He's due to let down. I missed out. He's, well, here's what's happened. The last three weeks since I made that promo code available, 15 and 5, 75% on football plays, college and pro combined. I mentioned finishing baseball regular season on the 31 and 13 run. So don't overthink it. Don't try to time the market. Seven-day sampler is a great way to get your feet wet. But most of you have been with me for a while. You know what I'm capable of doing. You know my 29-year consistent track record as a full-time professional handicapper. Why not get the one-year all-access, get the price down to less than, well, just over $3 a day, less than a dollar a play on average with promo code SM365. It's over an $800 instant discount on the one-year all-access. Just get the 365-day package on my page and at checkout, use promo code SM365. You get an instant $811 discount because that gets it down to exactly $99 a month, just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for not only football and basketball, but baseball also, college and pro, five major sports for the next 365 days and nights. So once again, if you're ready to take advantage of a great offer and be a consistent investor and treat this like a true investment, as you should, SM365 is the promo code you need for the one-year all-access. Want to try out a smaller package? Hey, seven-day all-sports is great too. No promo code. This weekend only, seven days for 77. By the way, if you like football only, I know some of you are just football players. I personally think you should play all-sports every day because they all win. I mean, why not make more money? But if you do want football only and not currently on board, we do have a 30-day football sampler also available for just $199. That's every college and pro football best bet for the next 30 days and nights. But you got to have promo code FBALL30, FBALL30. Hey, look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes or the special offers. I list them on my page each and every day. They're right below the daily best bets and the daily free play. That's right. I post a free play up almost each and every day of the week. So go check that out as well. And right below that, you'll see the special promos and offers also. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram as well, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting previews coming up next.